Hi, Chevra. A good Nerev Shabbos. Coming to you from our Simcha tent, where, uh, God willing, the Shabbos will have an offer of, for our son Simon and his upcoming marriage to Lauren. And I want to share with you some words, some feelings, personal feelings, from my heart to yours. There's a question brought up by Rav Salavechik. With regard to the holidays, with regard to the Yomim Tovim, he says, what, when it says you have to be happy, you should rejoice. What does that mean? What is Simcha? How do you experience Simcha? And the answer that he gives is, well, look where, what else it says next to Simcha. You shall rejoice before God. When you're standing before God, you, you just, you feel good. You feel simcha. You feel God's presence in your life. You feel his blessings. And you can't help but, but be happy and rejoice. But I think it's fascinating that in this week's Parsha and Parsha Acharemot Kedoshim, where it talks about the Yom Kippur service, and it describes how Pamachat Bashana, how once a year the Kohen Gadol would walk, go inside the Kodesh Kedoshim, the Holy of Holies. And it says, that he would be purified, along with the Jewish people being purified and elevated. Why? Because you're going to be lifnei Hashem. You're going to be before God. So what does that really mean, to be before God? And why does that bring joy in its presence? Obviously, being surrounded by God is wonderful, but what are you experiencing in there? What did the Kohen Gadol experience? So the Gemara in Brachos actually tells a story of Rabbi Shmuel ben Elisha who goes in. He says, one day I went in, it was, it was Yom Kippur, right? One day a year. And I saw an image basically of like God's chief of staff in, 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 in the angelic world, in the spiritual realm. And he saw me, Akatrikel, and he's sitting there on this, you know, his, his heavenly throne in front and God is, you know, up above and... And he says, give me a blessing, give me a bracha to Rabbi Ishmael. And Rabbi Ishmael says, I bless you, God, right? That your mercy, your compassion always overwhelm, overwhelms your anger. That your attribute of compassion, of support, of love is always manifest in everything you do in the way that you deal with your people. And that you always deal with your people mercifully, with love and support and always go above and beyond for them, to be there for them. Let them know that you're always there for them. And the, and the Gemara says that the angel nods his head as if to say, yeah, I agree. And the Gemara basically says right before that, almost verbatim, verbatim, that this is what God davens every day. When God davens, this is what he says. I want to just be there for my people. I want them to feel the love from me to them. And that's the experience of being Lifnei Hashem. And I have to tell you, I, I understand this in a much deeper way, going through a simcha in this environment and receiving just countless virtual mazel tovs, blessings, WhatsApps, texts, emails, phone calls, the whole gamut. We are so happy for you. We're so happy for your son. We're so happy for your family. Literally fe feeling the love and the support everywhere we go in everything we do. And I'm truly feeling Lifnei Hashem standing before God because we stand before a community that is showering us with this show constantly, of support, of love, of nachas for our family. So thank you. And may the joy just continue to permeate, God willing, in this crazy time, from my tent to my home, to all of your homes. And may we all experience the feeling of being lifnei Hashem, through the good times, through experiencing more elevation, more mazel, more bracha in the months and years to come. Have a great Shabbos.